prepared in this one now cantilever beam this time we have taken cantilever beam having a mass is negligible and uh, here uniform flexural rigidity what is the flexural rigidity that is a e into i this is called as a flexural rigidity this we have you know seen in the strength of materials and uh, length also given length of the cantilever beam and the frequency of uh, this you know vibrating beam with the uh, 0.5 mass is you know attached at the end so this is the cantilever beam and uh, here 0.5 kg mass is attached at the end of the cantilever beam and uh, the frequency is uh, 100 hz because of this one so we need to find out the ei here so you know for this what is the delta deflection equal to you no know, wl cube by pei for the simply supported beam which is uh, you know having a point load at the end and uh, f is given f equal to no omega n by 2 pi so what is the 2 omega n that is again g by delta so from this equation we can write delta equal to g by 2 pi f whole square so if i substitute values here 9.8 divided by 2 pi into this is a 100 h whole square then we will get a you know 2.48 into 10 power minus 5 what is this one this is in the meters so we got this one but our delta is uh, this one so if i substitute this value here and uh, we we can get a ei here so this is a del w l q by 3 into 2.48 into 10 power minus 5 equal to ei so this is what we need to find out this can be written as a w is a 0 0.5 into this is not mass actually this is in the newton so this is a force so 9.8 into 0 0.01 whole cube divided by 3 into no 2.48 10 power minus 5 so the value is 0 0.0658 what is the what is the unit here newton meter square this is asked in 2004 and uh, here the mass of the you know mass 20 kg is attached at the end of the cantilever and uh, the length of the cantilever also given this is 1 meter and the cross section of the cantilever so if i cut this one and uh, see the cross section this is the square cross section and uh, assume the mass of the cantilever is negligible and uh, we have only this uh, end mass and he also given and uh, he also mentioned that uh, this is a critically damped so when critically damped this we need to find out omega n so here he is asking us to so we have been asked to find out the viscous damper that is the c c for this uh, you know uh, this system but when it is a critically damped you know when it is a critically damped c is nothing but a cc so we need to find out here cc so what is the value of cc this is a 2m omega n uh, 2m omega n here so we need to find out the omega n so how to find out the omega n so value of omega n equal to the again the basic formula that is the square root of g by delta so here the delta value is you know w l cube by 3 into ei and uh, w is in newton so that is a uh, m into g and l also given here and uh, e for this particular problem also given we need to find out the i for this uh, cross section square cross section i equal to so 1 by 12 into b into d cube here b and d are same so this is a uh, 25 power 4 but uh, if I convert into the meters, it will become 10 power minus 4. So here we need to write the you know, whole power 4. So this is the value. And uh, if I calculate this one, uh, I need to substitute this value into the delta value. So if I substitute you know, delta value, what is that one? So that is a 20 into 9.8 into 
1 cube divided by 3 into 200 here e is given as a gigapascal so mega e is a 10 power 6 and giga is a 10 power 9 so here 10 power 9 and a pascal is noted per meter square and uh, here 1 by 12 into you know, 25 into 10 power minus 3 whole power 4 so this is a not 4 this is a 3 so what is the value of delta so the de value of delta equal to so 0 0.01 meters we got the value of delta so from this value we can find out omega n so omega n equal to square root of g by delta so 9.8 into by divided by 0 0.01 so this value is 31.25 radian per second this is a radian per second and now the final value is a cc that we need to find out that is a 2m omega n 2 into 2 into what is the m m is a 20 and omega n is a 31.25 so this value is a, no approximately 1250 newton second per meter so option a is the answer